is it? Um, here's our second Ooh. object. There we go, the special of the day. Oh, right. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's like a tongs, but rather than looking like it's designed to hold things, it looks more like it's designed to cut them. Cut them, pinch sort of them. Inside. Yeah. Sort of, these are kind of almost like blades, but Not they don't inside. quite touch. But then there's also on the handle, there's a little, um, I believe it's known as a sticky out bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, first impressions, what do you think it is? Look. Pinching. It's like a, like a leather Pinching thing. Pinching yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Or, or like your mates. Yeah. It's, a pin it's a pinching thing. It's a pinching yeah. thing like your mates. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's have, a, let's have a look at some options for you. What would this have been used for? Cracking your Brazil nuts, cutting your felt, nibbling your sugar, castrating your sheep. What about the Brazil nuts? Cutting. I think cracking Brazil. Mm. Yeah, I'd reckon. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Remember, I'm the worst one of them. You need something just a little bit sharp. Yeah, you know that. Yeah. No, because you can get it on that little ring bit, innit? I'd say that bit. You reckon Brazil now? Yeah, so, uh, you, 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 you seem to be heading We've gone through all of them. Yeah, I We've looked at it from all angles now. Not a clue. I think we've covered all of them, so. Okay. I need an answer. I'm happy to go, yeah. So, we have. And we won't be surprised at all to find we're wrong, but yeah. we have we have talked ourselves into <laughs> cracking, cracking your Brazil nuts. Yeah. Cracking your nuts. And we also think that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, cracking your Brazil nuts. Um, I wonder if that it's wrong. Oh. Oh. It's nibbling your sugar. Oh. That's right, as that's Sean that's will that's demonstrate. That's Certainly will. Here is one we, we made earlier. So basically every 18th century kitchen uh, would have had a pair of these because sugar used to come in big conical mounds and used to have sugar nippers to nip smaller lumps out of it ready for the sugar bowl. Oh. And they used to do it thusly. Oh, you've done this before, nice haven't you? Oh! Works well. Gentle with it. Yeah, you're right, an easy way. Just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what's that done to the scores? There's no way of sugaring this bad news. It's still the same. Manor House trail oh. by 2-0. Oh. 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 Barrel's in the lead, which means they're a step close to lifting the great British pub quiz tanker and walking away with 1,000 sweet pounds. Here's the sound of the pounds. OK. Right. Now, Mary, I understand you're brilliant on music. Yes, yeah, yeah, supposedly, to the point where, yeah, I got given a nickname, Jukebox. Right. Because yeah. you're that good on music. Allegedly. OK, all right, you're starting to back in away from the yeah. claim. But, but at least you're not afraid of slugs, though. Hey. No, well, <laughs> <laughs> right, up next is one of my favourite rounds where we show you some photos from mine and Sean's trips around the world. It's time for Alan Sean's Holiday Snaps. <laughs> well, this round is on the buzzer. I'm going to show you three photos from a landmark that we visited and the first team to guess correctly where we've been that will win the points. That simple. Buzz in correctly on the first photo. There's three points up for grabs, two for the second, one for the third, as it becomes much, much clearer where we've been. But, and here's the catch. Buzz in incorrectly and you'll be locked out of the rest oh. of the question. Oh. Locked out! That's right. This round's a lot of fun, but it's got a dark, brutal edge. <laughs> 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 two landmarks to guess, fingers at the ready. Here's your first one. <laughs> Where are Sean and I? That's actually me and Panto playing buttons at the Wolverhampton Grand. You know, <laughs> no one going for three points here? No one risking it? OK, for two points. Go. Oh, barrel arms. Uh, it is uh, the Empire State Building. Oh. It's absolutely right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> two points. Let's look at, the, let's look at um, how you win one point. <laughs> OK, let's look at our next holiday snap. Where did Sean and I go? That's actually Al looking for my Christmas bonus. Eh? Oh, crikey! Manor House, straight in. We're being brave. We think it's the Eiffel Tower. You're locked out of heaven, I'm afraid. Oh. Oh. Don't think we want to make a guess yet. Yeah. No, 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 no. Do you want to go down, down for two points? OK. Oh, Come on. Ooh. Don't keep me hanging. Come on. Um, <laughs> now, we're going to go down to one point. Down Where are we? Are we going to... Yeah, we're, we're, we're going down to one point. Where are we? There we go. Yeah, yeah that's... That's Judd Rodin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. happy with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go through the formality. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is it Judd Bank? Yes, it is. It's Judd Bank. Well done. Yay. Okay. Just the one, just the one, one point there. It's one of the world's largest fully steerable radio telescopes. So powerful, they could detect a mobile phone signal on Mars with that thing. Yeah, but not on Oxford Street, isn't that right, Vodafone? <laughs> <laughs> right. 